two sharks around the boat at the moment. They need as many deployments as they can get. And today's Graham's first ever shot at doing it. Thanks. I've seen it done, but seeing it and doing it are, of course, two entirely different things. Nice and easy grab. Your boat's maybe 25 feet, you know, in length, and uh, here you are with just you, no, you know, safety net, no rope, anything, and like shark-infested waters reaching over the side of the boat with a pole. I felt like, you know, the little kid in Little League, you know, up the bat, like knees shaking, you know, arms shaking, and I felt a lot of pressure. Get it in the water. Get it in the water. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I I did this for two weeks a couple years ago, so... Oh, yeah, no, I... whatever. That trip showed them all the danger they face. Eric and I have been trying to put cameras on white sharks 200 miles out on an island called Guadalupe. After the fifth day of trying to put cameras on white sharks, you sort of start to forget that they're white sharks. Oh, oh, yes, and the shark sort of turned and came straight in. The full force bit the motor, pushed the boat at least a boat length backwards, and I just fall directly in the water with the white shark sort of right there. I was sure I was going to watch him get chopped in front of me, and I was going to have PTSD for the rest of my life. So uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, an animal to be respected. We have to be aware that we are working with large animals and we are quite low in the water. Here we go. Get him. Go. Woo! Is it on? Oh, well, well done. When you get it on there, it's, yeah, it's an amazing thrill. It feels really good. 